When uh, Bill Strandlin asked me to speak to you all about stewardship, I asked if there was any overriding theme to address, and he just said, tell folks why you give. Well, of course, the Bible tells us that God has given us everything, our lives, this beautiful earth, our minds and freedom of will, our love for each other, and of course, his love for us. All of these things are gifts for which we have no debt, no obligation. It is his grace for us. Think about all of your own many blessings, your family, your health, freedom, nature, this community, your church, and Jesus Christ. It is an embarrassment of riches, and it is how God takes care of us, his beloved children. Think about the things that you love. How do you take care of them? You spend your time, your talents, or attention, and your money on them, right? Think about your children, your spouse, your friends, your charities, your hobbies. You care for these people and things. So you set aside time from your busy schedules. You volunteer for projects or offer your special talents to advance them. Or you work hard to earn the money needed for expenses to support these things that you love. I love this church, and I love the people in it and the wonderful ministries that they pursue. So like all of you, I try to take care of it. For me, that means, in part, being on the altar gill, as Father Jay said. My team is actually responsible this month. We make sure that the candles are filled, the songboards are changed, the altar is properly set, the readings are out, the credence table has all the things necessary for our worship. And I can tell you I feel God's presence in this beautiful space as I prepare it for his worship. It also means learning how to play guitar. I had no idea how to play the guitar until Jim Thomason, as one of his many gifts to this church, um, to teach anyone who wanted to learn, offered to, to do that so that people could learn how to play for Grace Cafe or any of our gatherings. I'm anything but proficient, but I can play enough to help accompany you all for hymns during communion or for celebration at other events. I volunteer to be a reader, an usher, an acolyte, a crucifer. My most precious honor is the opportunity to serve sometimes as a lamb and offer the blood of Christ to all of you during the Eucharist. And there's so many other ministries that you all are a part of. Daughters of the King, the Choir, Flower Gill, Grace Cafe, Grace Place, the Elf Ministry, Church School, Vestry and Vestry Group activities, beans and rice, many more. I also give back in money because we need money, just like we need time and talent. But I don't really see that as anything more than just another form of sharing and giving back what, after all, has been a gift from God all along. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have I given thee. This last year has just been horrendous for a lot of folks. We have a worldwide pandemic that threatens our health and keeps us apart. We have probably unprecedented political discord. And we have economic distress that has pulled the rug out from under too many of us and our neighbors. It just seems like every day brings some new challenge or threat or uncertainty. So many people and things that we love need our help, need our care. And if you're like me, you felt helpless at times and long to discover some way to make a difference. You've repeatedly asked yourself, what can I do? Well, as it is with our families, friends, community, and country, I can't remember when our church needed more care. We take care of the things that we love. So if you're asking yourselves, what can I do? Well, here it is. Take care of this church that we all love. Amen. <laughs>